Yeah. All right, you cool cats and kittens. Uh, ben Sipola coming to you from the Ole Football Academy here in Porirua, New Zealand, where we breathe, eat, sleep, and train the beautiful game. Uh, again, we're going to continue with our numbers series, and today we're going to talk about the three midfield positions, my favorite. And as we've been getting a lot of requests on social media, the six and the two eight positions. So as you can see from the three midfielders in the system, they, they sort of create this triangle uh, with the six on the bottom. And the six we refer to as that sort of controller or that pivot position with the two eights, one off to the right and one off to the left. And the six and the two eights are really the glue to the system. They hold the team together and they bring a lot of order to the chaos. Uh, as you can see, because they play inside the pitch, these three players are playing at 360 degrees. Therefore, they have to be real competent, uh, real cognitive and real skillful. They collect a lot of information. Uh, playing at 360 degrees is different than say the two position who also obviously has a sideline behind them. So that's more of 180 degrees where these players are playing at this sort of revolving capacity. Um, and they have to be able to be confident on both sides of their body. So left side, right side, and uh, they have to be able to again, bring order to the team. If you were to sort of split the pitch in half, you can sort of see that the six sort of controls that midfield area or right in the middle, while you have one eight off to the left side and you have one eight off to the right side. And sort of that idea there is that they're always bringing balance to the team. These three players in this internal triangle um, connect the other eight players. So if you draw a line around the outside, connecting the other eight players, the three players inside, the six and the two eights, offer to the players on the outside. So in the instance of say the five with the ball, the five can play into the eight, who can play into the six, into the eight, and then can connect with the seven. And so the idea behind that is that as the ball is transferred, it keeps the passing line short. Uh, the longer the pass, the higher risk, not to say that long passes are bad. As Ron Cruyff said, always seek the furthest pass, but playing through players instead of playing long, uh, playing through the inside players, inside players play inside to outside, outside players play inside, inside to out and kind of get that revolving pattern going. In regards to the system, the six again is that sort of controller position or the pivot and they connect the four with the three and they form that sort of bottom half of that hourglass. So if you sort of color them in here, you have this triangle stacked on top of this triangle and the six keeps that integral structure in shape that's really important to have in possession but also out of possession. Um, you can sort of see there that the six is that glue and very often the six is sort of the unsung hero in the team Does a lot of the dirty work, but also a lot of that communication and holding players together Which is a critical component in team building communication So don't undervalue that skill being able to communicate and bring order and organize players around you is a really critical skill No matter where you are in the field, but particularly that six position the same goes for the eights uh, the eights are typically you know, these very cognitive players, very competent, well-versed on their left side and the right side. Uh, the, the eight on the right side in the, in the preferred manner is left-footed, so they can come inside and create and even shoot, while the eight on the left side is right-footed where they can come inside, shoot, and create. Uh, having said that, you want competency on both sides, so this eight can come outside. Maybe we call it play little sliders in behind, um, all sorts of things like that. So a few players that you might be familiar with in our system that play the six and the eights. And again, these are sort of these revolving positions. So sometimes you'll get a player who plays in that six, who's also capable of playing that eight position and vice versa. Depending on the way that we like to play and the personnel on the team, you might have more of a static holding six, or you might have more of a free moving, free wheeling number six that can kind of interchange with the eight position. So, Typical players in those positions are people like Harry Edge, who's off in Sweden, who's been on a professional contract in South Africa. Uh, people like Sean Bright and Marco Stamnich, who were at the last Under-17 World Cup. Uh, Owen Parker-Price, who was a key piece in that Eastern Suburbs team, and also over in Sweden, playing that A position. People like Dominic Wooldridge, who was in the last Under-20 World Cup. And obviously Ryan Thomas, who I think in his last game for the All-Whites against Ireland, played in that eight position. Uh, even people like Elijah Just 
can pop into the eight. So I guess it would be a real compliment to be able to say that you play a six or an eight in the system. It means that you really understand the game, that you understand order, you understand balance, you're competent on both sides of the uh, both sides of your body, but as well, very cognitive, you know, t collecting a lot of data, being able to scan, getting your hips in great shapes. So having said that, that's a pretty good review of the six and the two eights. That's a really critical triangle in the system. And of course, uh, it's a real admirable place to play. Um, having said all that, we'd like to talk to you real quickly about a book of ours, a favorite book of ours, is Team Building by Rhinus Michaels. So Rhinus Michaels was uh, made famous for those Dutch teams in the 1970s and the early days of Barcelona in the 1980s. And he was a key influence of Johan Cruyff, who later went on, obviously, to influence uh, Pep Guardiola. And we obviously know about Pep and the work he's, that he's done at Barcelona, Bayern Munich, and today at Manchester City. So uh, we really recommend this book again. It's Team Building, The Road to Success by Rhinus Michaels. And it's a great overview. It makes the game sound really, really simple. And as they say, simplicity is genius. And trust me, this book is genius, and it does a great job of uh, explaining football in its most simple forms. Well, we can't wait to see you guys. Hopefully, we're back on the pitch before you know it, uh, looking like we're a couple days away. Uh, study the number system. You know, you can Google this stuff. You can type it into YouTube, and you can come up with all sorts of stuff on positional play and total football. All the best. Take care, and talk to you soon.